So we've stopped by the uh, Paradox booth here at uh, GameX to find out a little bit more about something that's a little foreign, I would have to say, an unhistorical expansion for Crusader Kings 2. How did that come about? Uh, well, uh, we have this forum with a lot of people on it that uh, read and comment and talk about our games. And one day in uh, like March or April, I remember reading someone saying, yeah, we have this threat in the end game from the east where the Mongols come. Wouldn't it be cool if we, if sometimes you got an invasion from the west, like Aztecs landing? And I thought like, well, that's a cool one. Let's put it as an ideas. And then we, those ideas bounced about. And then we had our uh, art team at Paradox South asking, well, we're full. We've done all this uh, graphic uh, stuff you scheduled for this year. Do you have any, any extra job for us? I'm like. Well, this idea we had uh, about Aztecs invading Europe, well, let's uh, make some art for that. And we got that art, and then we were like, okay, so how can we use this? This idea, this art, and then we managed to create something in, in early this autumn. What, what is the setup? Why are the Aztecs in, invading? Uh, if I know the story correctly, uh, the Vikings were slightly more successful in the West. Some of them survived. Uh, they brought the uh, knowledge of uh, ship stuff down to the s south. Uh, when you, I don't want to spoil too much of the storyline, but uh, stuff has happened in the west. The Incas have discovered thunder sticks and come into the conflict with a slightly technologically advanced uh, ship-faring Aztec nation that feels the pressure from the south. And they, the Aztecs are getting pushed, like the Mongols push the Huns, etc. So you see Aztecs arriving on the west coast of Europe. And and, and, and sort of, what was it? Was it like you said you got the idea? What was there ever a thing where you said like, well, this doesn't really rhyme with everything else that we're doing? D did you ever have that discussion? Uh, we had it, but the thing is, like, we have done a lot of like weird cool stuff before, like in the original EU we had a fantasy scenario where the map was empty and you played some random countries. We also had in Hot Train 2 uh, the alien attack, where you just could type alien attack and you got an alien invasion that were super technological and attacked you everywhere. Uh, so we have done those things before and we thought like, since we have this system for Crusader Kings 2, where everything you do and all these DLCs and expansions are optional. You don't have to have them to play. You get all the bug fixes and stuff for free anyway. So it's like, okay, let's see. If uh, if only like one in ten of the people who buy it or usually buy DLC likes it, then it's fun. We're we're not going to lose money on it. And even if we do, it doesn't matter. Uh, making games is not just about profits and uh, being rich or stuff. It's about having fun. So. You had sort of Islam, you had legacy of, of Rome, and then um, this this is a little bit smaller. It's a little bit more bites, I yeah. think. How how will you move forward with uh, with expanding Crusader Kings beyond this? Uh, we have a major DLC in uh, development that will be ready uh, sometimes around New Year, which will be something that uh, the fans have requested quite a lot, and uh, that we will be very very happy with and it will involve something that you have not played before in Crusader Kings 2 that is really historical and m will take the game to some new levels. I think, I think you said like if you're interested get, get to, into the forums and find out. Right? Yeah, I think we will drop some hints in December about it and have some nice campaign but uh, I think that's uh, if I knew correctly what the devs are doing it should be big in a sort of Islam or on the same level. Interesting, and and but you're keeping a very high pace with with uh, expanding Crusader Kings too. It's just really like it's not even been out a year yet. Well, we made it. A, we created this new concept of like modular DLCs that are expanding the game game, and at the same time we have give away shitloads of stuff for free. 
and in, we do the patches, the DLCs and the patches hook in together. So, uh, and that meant that we could keep the entire development team on Crusader Kings 2 on after release. They just keep making stuff, uh, like part stuff goes free, part stuff goes into DLCs, and we get all these things working out. And it's we have so much ideas. We could keep as long as people do make DLCs, we'll make mostly historical cool stuff like Sur Islam was. Uh, sometimes we do fun stuff, optional stuff like Sunset Invasions. And sometimes we do stuff that are not historical but more like user interface, like the ruler designer. So I think everyone after this interview will sort of request that alien attack thing to be brought into the game. Uh, Don't you think? Yeah, but it's not as funny in a medieval. What could you do against lasers in, in a World War II game? That would be cool. Well, maybe the, the aliens come at you with sticks. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Or it's like, you, instead of like aliens attack, we could have like this mindless alien. Hmm, you're onto something. Now, we don't have any plans to do that yet. And I don't think we'll, we'll do it for CK. Some other game, maybe. There could be threats coming from the underground as well, digging their way up. Yeah, but for that we actually need to have uh, the city of Relier on the map so that Cthulhu can rise. And sadly Crusader Kings 2 does not have a map of the South Pacific. So, uh, well, there's a lot, lot of things to look forward to with Crusader Kings 2 and even before the end of the year, I think... Uh, Mid of November is Sunset Invasion, right? Yeah, November 15th is the release date. Uh, SRP is 4.99. Uh, should be out on all digital platforms. I want to say all digital platforms, but all digital PC platform. <laughs> yeah, well, it's for Mac as well, and uh, whenever Linux goes live, it should be Linux as well. So.